The Local is a free monthly printed newspaper, 24 pages, all color. We basically try to reflect the community that we're in. That's East Falls, that's Germantown, and now as we are reaching out to other grassroots partners, they have their voices and their take on their community. Neighborhood grab bag of like politics and I don't want dog poop on my step anymore. You know, we got it all. <laughs> the important stuff. The, the important, important stuff, stuff. <laughs> exactly, yes. This is a uh, draft of the March layout. We go through and we just see what's where. We determine We try reading it like we you read, read it, it yeah. as a person. You know, just, yeah. oh, I picked it up. What do I got? Mm -hmm. And then we try to see where our eyes are drawn. If you wanted to be able to just use your eye to bump through a story, you can do that without actually having to read all the words. So we try to say stuff in pictures. Maybe these, some of these things should overlap on the picture a little bit. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm the engine. Like, I, I do most of the writing. Mm -hmm. I do the photography when we need it. I do a lot of design, and Steve is more the, like, if you're, if you're into astrology, I'm the Leo, <laughs> he's the Virgo. I took one journalism class at LaSalle, and I didn't really think it was for me. I guess I was looking more towards fiction or playwriting, something more <laughs> in that direction. I used to write editorials to the paper constantly as a small child, so I kind of always knew that I wanted to have an audience of some kind. Hey guys, how are you? All right. Hey. You know when you're being sort of pushed online mm -hmm. to certain content, where the newspaper is more, what do you want to read? If you don't like it, you flip the page. But it's there. It gives you that spectrum you normally wouldn't get online. So I think there's something to that. I think people realize, I'd like to break out of the normal reading habits I'm getting online. Got some Philly women's history. Yeah, that's great. And look at something a little bit more diverse. I'm really looking forward to reading it. And our voice is fun too. I think that's different. Like you're going to read a newspaper, there's a certain journalistic voice, you know, that everybody's familiar with and we don't do that voice. If you're going to give me an article, it's going to be from you. You're the one who's driving that. What are you looking for in, in stories when someone approaches you with an idea? What are you looking for? What makes you say yes? Authenticity. If they're really passionate about it and it's something that it really means a lot to them then I think that I want to get that out. I want to express it for them. I think another key thing that is not just I want to do it for them, we want to capture them as they're talking as they are. So if they sound like they're super authentic and they're in, then we want to reflect that. We're not looking for pitches. You don't have to give me a pitch. You are your pitch. I grew up right down the street. Originally, I was supposed to be inside of the paper as a cartoonist. And then, like, I guess they love my work, so they put it on the front cover, which was amazing and a blessing. They're going to be the same colors? Or uh, it's just, it's going to pop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell them all the time that it allows me to express myself um, creatively, like, actually view myself as a doodler. So to draw each month, it challenges me to think outside the box and put what I feel on paper. The snow was a buffer, falling heavily and silent, on Indian Queen Lane. It seemed to tuck the world in, letting it drift off to sleep under the caring watch of the street lamps. My name is Andrew Jeroman. I'm a teacher. I live here on Indian Queen Lane, and I am also a writer. I actually hadn't seen any fiction in their paper at all, but I loved their way of telling stories and stuff so much that um, I kind of just sent them a couple of my writing. I said, hey, I think this might be a good fit. Steve and Carolyn were great and said that they thought it would be a real good match for them, so they put it in. It wasn't really until like 2020 that we really considered this like a career. I mean, we always kind of wanted it to be, but every couple months we were like, is this it? And then like 2020 happened and oh my gosh. And then it was just, you know, we have something here that needs some some love. We recognize that there's mainstream, there's social, there's nothing in between where people are still accountable, where there's sources, where there's actual factual information that you can trust. So we just figured we needed that so bad. What do you think it is about newspapers that some of us just can't seem to, to let go of? I hope you never do, <laughs> right? Yeah, I think it's that it allows you the, the time. You have time to sit and peruse it from front to back. There's no interruptions, there's no bells going off, there's no alerts, nothing to distract your attention. It's not algorithm driven. 
We've heard from readers that when they open a paper, they say, well, I never expected to see this story next to that story. So for us, that's, that's a high compliment. Thank you so much for dropping it off. Sure, of no worries. Worries.